So thanks guys for tuning in to Physically and Financially Fit with Dawn, and I'm really excited about today's episode. We have six of the top income earners in network marketing that are sharing the screen with me today, and I'm super excited because all of us are going to be at attending and training at an event called Network Marketing Way to Wealth in Orlando, Florida, September 29th through October 1st. So if you don't have your ticket yet, I can guarantee you by the time you're done listening to these six superstars, you're absolutely going to be getting your tickets. So we're going to just rotate around, make it real casual, and share a little bit about who we are and why you really, really, really require to get to this event. So you know, let's start with Robert Butman. And Robert, if you could share with everyone a little bit about yourself and tell everyone why they should attend the event and what, what training you're going to leave them with that's just going to have them t totally inspired. about my story about how I got into network marketing two months before I found this great profession I met this lady and she weighed 115 pounds and was five foot seven inches and when I found network marketing she was my first customer and I sold her $750 worth of weight loss products unfortunately I think she was probably buying me because we've been happily married 31 years from that point, I've been in network marketing for 33 years. It's really blessed me. And the reason why I'm very excited about, first of all, speaking in Orlando is because one of the key elements that has allowed me to be successful is the insights that I've gotten from other people that went in front of me. Some of the greats like Jim Rohn, you know, Dr. Breakthrough, uh, Big Al, Tom Schreider. And this event will be my opportunity to. Um, share some of the things that I've learned over 33 years of having a very successful you know, time in this business. I'm still actively involved. Um, obviously, there's been changes in 33 years. My whole objective is to how to help you prosper in a changing world. You know, a lot of the changes for in one aspect have made it harder, but they made it easier for everybody that is going to be at the event to succeed in this profession. I really believe that if people understand what this business is about, everybody would be involved in this business. The only reason people are not involved in this business, in my belief, is they just don't understand it. And so I'm here to help pay it forward, to help other people, first of all, get more clarity about this business, help them improve their belief systems so that they can get into action. Because I really believe that this profession is the way of the future. I'm just grateful that I found it a long time ago and I want to help other people create the success that I've been able to accomplish over a long period of time. Thank you so much, Robert, for sharing. And, and I agree with so many things that you said, and I'm actually going to share real quick a little bit about why I said yes to this event and how I got started in network marketing. So, um, same as you, I uh, got started in network marketing in a, in a weight loss company for myself. And, you know, the funny thing is I actually knew that there was a business opportunity and kind of told my sponsor if she ever asked me to sell it, I was going to block her on Facebook. True story. So I really wanted nothing to do with this. I was an accountant for 27 years, exhausted, tired. I had two active competitive baseball players. We traveled the country playing sports and I had a lot on my plate, which I know a lot of you guys listening out there does. And not only did I have a full-time job, I had a part-time job and I volunteered a lot. So I volunteered for my kids' school and I volunteered for the sports cult community and volunteered at consignment shops and, and wherever else. I was the one that always had, you know, the stamp on the head that said, ask me, because I just volunteered all the time. And when I decided as an accountant to take a look at network marketing as a profession or really kind of as on the residual income side, it really made sense. And, you know, I know a lot of times when people jump into network marketing, um, they don't get the comp plan or they don't get their legs or they don't get the, the income structure or the business model, but I did. And I got that quickly. And I said, this is like amazing. Like you can't earn this kind of money in corporate America where I was. And you don't have egos in network marketing. And look at us, we're from six different companies and we're all banding together. There's 20 of us guys that are going to Orlando. So there's 20 of us banding together for the profession of network marketing. And when I first got started, it was just to kind of get my toes wet a little bit and you know maybe get some products paid for and help a couple friends and family. And before you knew it, you know, it was just tripling my full-time income and it was, it was time to leave because the job kind of got in the way. 
So as a mom of two boys who I never got to see anything with them, I missed all of their firsts and I missed, you know, had to go back to work six weeks after they were born. And my oldest son is, was six weeks early. So if you do the math, I kind of went back to work before his original due date. My mission is really to educate everybody out there on what network marketing is and to let, you know, any of the parents out there know that there is a way to stay home with your kids if you so choose. And my mission is to bring every working mom and dad home if they so choose so that we can raise our own children. So that was really powerful for me when I saw what network marketing can do. So unlike Robert, I'm a newbie. I've been in the business for five years. I have been able to um, achieve millionaire status with my company. And it was really due to the hard work, determination, and commitment of sharing really what network marketing can do for others. And I'm really excited about the event in Orlando. I was invited to speak at this event by uh, my business coach, Jeff Combs, who introduced me to Thomas. And I was just not only so honored to share the stage with so many incredible, amazing people that I have been following for a really long time, but to train and lead people there inspired by not only what network marketing can do, but how you can be successful in network marketing. So as an accountant, I was an introvert. So, you know, social extrovert. I, I communicated with people when I had to, but I was really an introvert. Pushed a pencil, you know, had a, a desk behind an office door and, and really didn't socialize too much. And that's kind of why I chose accounting. So I could not really have to deal with a lot of people because I was extremely shy. And network marketing, can't be shy, but you can still be who you truly are. And I'm going to share a little bit about how I was able to build a multiple six figure income in a short amount of time as an introvert, how to connect with people, how to truly just have a conversation, um, build rapport and team build, but also how to meet people where they are because there's so many people in network marketing and everybody has a different goal. And, some people, it might not be to leave their current career or to stay home with their kids. Maybe people really like to go to work and bring their kids to a daycare. Maybe it's just somebody who an extra $500 a month can drastically change the quality of your life. Or maybe it's that person who is just so sick and tired of being sick and tired with the same job and not having any advancement. So all of us, especially the six of us on this this call right now all have different goals. And I'm gonna really um, teach you guys out there when you attend the event, how to meet people where they are, but still team build. And my mission, my motto, my slogan, my logo, whatever it is for my own individual team is no one gets left behind. So we always have to meet people where they are, but we cannot forget about the people that we have. And I'm gonna share a little bit more about that in Orlando. So that's how I got invited to this event. I'm super excited. And that's my little short journey on network marketing. And we're gonna pass the torch now over to Jeff. Yeah. Jeff, if you can share with us, we'd love to hear a little bit more from you. All right, Don. Well, this is great to uh, uh, it's great. It's great to be on on uh, the Zoom here with you and on your show. Uh, we're going from you, a relative uh, infant, as it relates to your tenure in network marketing, to me, kind of a senior citizen. I've been in the industry for longer than really I care to admit. I got involved when I was uh, I'm dating myself. I got involved when I was 25. I, I got out of school as a, a civil engineer, worked for a general contractor and real estate developer for about three years and in the late 80s uh, up to 1990 the economy in the in the states was very very soft people weren't building my employers were going out of business i actually had three different jobs in three different years as companies went out of business i found myself in a situation where i couldn't pay subcontractors uh you know because because the funds were, were short and we weren't able to get the cash for our draws and it just uh, someone handed me a video in fact the guy that was in the same business as me uh, that I went to school with a good friend uh, sh shared with me a video and it caught me at the right time in my life where I was open-minded is so that's the first lesson I want everybody to know in this business is you know you're not going to catch everybody at the right time in their life you're going to meet some good people that are not the right time in their life and you're going to meet some people that maybe haven't had any success in the past but they're at the right time in their life to make an impact and that's that was me uh, in 1990 and so I got involved in this industry something really woke my entrepreneurial you know, uh, energy up and, and I started in a business for myself and uh, really I was kind of, you know, ever since I went to my first event with that company, which was in February of 91, uh, I have been unemployable because I saw a better way. Now in my career, I've been in the ups and the downs 
of this industry. But I can tell you that the worst day I've ever had here was better than the best day I ever had in my previous career. And so um, I, would, I would share with you that we have a better way. And I got started, Robert kind of alluded to this when, in his opening comments. I got started in this business, there was no internet. Uh, there was no email, uh, and, and it was kind of like, a, you know, I was a, I'm a dinosaur. Uh, and so today, with the world being such a smaller place, uh, we have the opportunity to reach so many people in such a shorter period of time. And so the, the timing couldn't be better than it is today. And that's what I'm going to speak about at this event, Dawn, is, is how to build a global business. And there, there are a lot of great global builders. Robert is one of the best that I know of. Uh, and I'm going, to, I'm going to speak about, you know, my successes. I've actually been a top 10 earner in three different companies in my career. And I've done uh, at least uh, the back end of number one and built the number two and three all with international contacts that I have built. So we're going to talk about how, um, how to build those relationships, how to find those, how to build those relationships, how to maintain those, and the importance of doing so. And I believe number one is if, if, if you're a little bit more intentional about doing that, about building an international business, then you're going to see a quality to your income, a diversity to your income that uh, is going to give you a little bit more security. But number two is it is a major selling point for millennials today to be able to build a business and travel doing so and get paid. Today, I'm, I'm, I'm on this call right now um, on the Zoom, uh, I'm in Moscow. And in the last uh, two weeks, I've been in St. Petersburg, I've been in Dublin, I've been in Amsterdam, I've been in London, I've been in Berlin, uh, and, and now I'm here and, and it's all been for this type of business. And so if you like to travel, there's no better business for you to be in. And, and the reason I said yes to the event in Orlando is, uh, for years, the only events I ever went to were events put on by my company. And one of the things I learned is, is that the information was kind of limited. Nobody was going to tell me their best practices because it means I was probably going to take market share away from them. But when you are in an event where, where it's not, you know, it's not a sterile environment, it's great cross pollination, uh, then you're going to get best practices and real down and dirty actionable items that you can go and put into play without having to worry about the agendas of the speakers and, and, and who's trying to get favor with the company CEO. And so uh, at any rate, you'll, you'll, you'll learn when you come to this event and some of the over the past five years, some of the most amazing events I've been to have been generic events like this. So when you, when you come to Orlando, I can promise you, you're going to get some major ahas, major takeaways, and you're going to come out there and be bulletproof. And uh, whatever it is that you decide to put your energy into, I know with what you're going to learn there, you're going to do it better uh, and be more of a success. And so I'm excited to be there. I'm excited to share. And I'm excited to, uh, to learn from all the great folks that are like on this Zoom call right now. So don't thanks so much. Oh, thanks so much, Jeff. And I love what you said about that. We're like all collaborating. Like we're not, there's no competition at all. And we all can learn from each other. And I love these generic events because you just learn differently as well. I mean, you can pick up a little golden nugget from somebody else in a different company um, and we're not stepping on each other's toes. So I, I love that. Thank you so much, Jeff. And mm -hmm. Shelly, you're next. So share a little, share a little with us, um, if you may, with, with how you got started and what they can learn from you at the event. I will. And just listening to these few stories makes me so excited to think of what's ahead of us with all these speakers and besides being excited to inspire I'm excited to learn so my my story in network marketing is a little different uh, when I was 12 years old I was diagnosed with a lung condition called cystic fibrosis and given a life expectancy of only 18 years that was the average age and or in my late 20s when I realized I was fighting this disease every day but still alive I became interested in health and wellness and bought my own salon and spa, very small one, which eventually I parlayed into three very large salon and spas. And I started developing health and beauty products for our clients in the salon. And I started doing it with my husband. Uh, he's my, he was my boyfriend at the time, but now husband and business partner, Frankie. And we sold it in our salons. And then we realized we had some, a really key product and we took it to trade shows and home parties. And anywhere there were people breathing with skin, we realized we had something we could share and sell. And I did that for 10 years, then went on to sell it on Home Shopping Network Live TV for nine years, selling millions of jars, but through a camera. Then I went on to do infomercials with Guthy Ranker Corporation globally, three years, big opportunity, millions of jars, great again, but I was in a camera. And one day I looked at my husband and said, you know what? I miss where we came from. 
I miss one-on-one, -on -one, watching people, helping people, showing them how to duplicate what we have done, how they can take our product and make their own business, their own income. And at first he about strangled me because he thought I was nuts for wanting to get out of this television business. But I heard about network marketing. And I got turned onto this industry and realized it was exactly what I was looking for, a way to reach people and teach people and touch people and share and help them duplicate a system. So I started producing products for the for companies in the network marketing. I'm with one company now with our products. And um, I, I love the fact that we are able to change people's lives. And you hear that used so often, it's life changing. But what we do really is life changing, whether it's increasing confidence, increasing someone's skills, helping them get into business for something that, you know, I've had many franchise businesses. And when I think about the money I spent and the time I spent and the lack of teamwork and support I got in exchange, and then you look at network marketing and like you said, it's, it's a team. We're all doing this together, we're not competing. And so what I like to be able to inspire with my life story, I still have cystic fibrosis. The average life expectancy is 37 years old. I just turned 57. So thank you, thank you very much. So, you know, it's not about me, it's about people. How can I take my story and let everyone know that they can beat the odds and take control in life and in business and in relationships and create their own luck? And I have five principles of daily life. I'm gonna teach my five principles, show people how to make them their own, use that as a way of stepping through life around obstacles, creating your own luck, listening for cues, and realize that there is such a world of opportunity around you if you are listening, ready, and able to accept it. And so I'm excited to share my message. And like I said, I am really honored to share the stage with so many accomplished network marketers that I know my takeaway from you all is gonna be life-changing for me. So I'm excited. Oh, thanks so much, Shelly. And you said something, I just wanna piggyback on what you said as well. You talked about that we're helping people not just you know with our, our product or service, but with confidence. And I remember somebody sharing with me a long time ago, and it didn't make sense then because I wasn't where I am today. And they said, network marketing is a personal development business that happens to have a compensation plan attached. And I loved it. And I really teach that now because how you grow so much as a person um, because of the community and the culture that you surround yourself around and working on yourself daily, um, is really true. It's, it's a personal development plan or business model that just happens to have a really nice compensation plan attached to it. So thank you, Shelly. I'm so really, really excited to meet you out there. Dr. Stan, you are up, my friend. Let me unmute you and you're ready to go. Hey, hey, hey. Well, it's a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure to be connected with you all. And, uh, you know, my story is simple, and that is I was, a, a, as a minister of the gospel, I heard uh, older ministers say that home-based business was making money off your friends. You never want to be part of it. And so I became prejudiced against the industry. And so for those of you out there who are, maybe you have friends or maybe you're like I was, like, man, I want nothing to do with it, you know, and uh, just stay away from me with that stuff. And I was like, like hey, stay back, right? And uh, until I understood what the industry was really all about. And so one of the things I tell people today is never accept constructive criticism from someone who's never constructed what you would like to build. Let me say that again, it's pretty good. Never receive constructive criticism from someone who's never constructed what you would like to build. You know, as I travel the country now, I've been blessed to speak in all 50 states and 28 countries, uh, not just preaching, but now also building and teaching. Uh, I was successful building several teams and now I just do generic training. But, but one of the things I find out is that people, as soon as they get excited when they get started, and they're like, they want to tell the world, you know, and always, by the way, I have a three little, I say, you only got to, to build a worldwide team, you only got to tell three people, and that is Lottie, Dottie, and everybody, right? There's only three you got to tell. <laughs> if you tell Lottie, Dottie, and everybody, you can, build, you can build a business. But what happens in that process, though, is inevitably somebody who has a uncle who maybe is an attorney or a brother who's a doctor, a successful doctor, they will ask them, what do you think? And that person will tell them, well, the problem is, if, if your brother was a doctor and he's successful, or your uncle was an attorney and he's successful, ask them about law and, 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 and doctorate and so forth, but don't ask them about home-based business is if they've never done it. So what happens is people get excited and ask people, like I had people that asked me back then when I was against them, I was like, oh no, I'd stay away from that. 
Well, I didn't know what I was talking about. Now, I was successful in other areas, but not successful in the home-based business arena. So let me say it again. So you'd never receive constructive criticism from anyone who's never constructed what you would like to build. Um, that would have saved me a lot of heartache, a lot of, I mean, now I love this thing. And I was a minister of the gospel, as far as I'm concerned, Jesus was the greatest networker in the world. And he taught 12 <laughs> and through 12, he's, he's reaching the whole world. And so I love this concept now and I teach it everywhere I go. But I, I was a uh, college professor, by the way, teaching Bible college and traveling on weekends as an evangelist. And, uh, and, and, and somebody, you know, they were saying to me, they said, you know, you're really successful. I'm also a martial artist, by the way. So I, I, uh, that's how I got the name Dr. Breakthrough, is when I do demonstrations, I teach people about breaking through things. So like this board, you know, it's a hard board, and I have written on it fear, right? False expectation appearing real. Sometimes fear, former experiences affecting reality. And I mean, a lot of people like this, well, you know, I tried one of those things. You know, well, that's part of the problem is they try. See, I say to try is to lie. You don't want to try, you want to commit. See, when I got started in martial arts, um, over four decades ago. <laughs> By the way, Shelly, we're the same age. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm about to turn 57, but not 57 years old, 57 years wise. So put, I figure once you hit 40, you ought to put the wise after it. Don't use old, okay? <laughs> but anyway, but, but, but this whole thing uh, of fear, some people fear success, some people feel fear failure. I mean, there's all kinds of fears that people have. And, uh, and, and those who are Bible believers, fear stands for forgetting everything's all right. Because did it ever occur to you that nothing ever occurred to God? So anyway, but, but I'm, as Dr. Breakthrough, I tell people I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. But when people follow my breakthrough prescription, God Almighty provides a breakthrough they desire and deserve. And a breakthrough is exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable. And so this fear barrier, well, I'm going to be teaching, by the way, one of the things on um, dealing with no's. See, you've got to, one of the things I found out was my teens were paralyzed with fear. By the way, fear can paralyze you or fear can propel you. Now, as a six-year-old boy, a gang of teenagers came my way. As a six-year-old boy, when you see a gang of teenagers, by the way, how, how many know your body will send you signals? And I knew something was wrong, but I was so afraid I froze in my tracks. And because I froze in my tracks, of course, they grabbed me, they beat me up. And I was just a six-year-old boy, but think about this. I, I tell people, I never know. I could have ran and possibly yelled and maybe somebody would have came and helped me. I don't know. But guess what? I'll never know because I never even attempted it. And that's why I tell people, you know, you got to, instead of allowing your fear to paralyze you like I did, you want your fear to propel you like when a dog, I don't know if you've ever been chased by a dog, but boy, I tell you, I can outrun Usain Bolt when a dog's after me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but so so you want to allow your fear to propel you because successful people they have the same feelings and so forth as you have they just learn to redirect it instead of being paralyzed by fear they're propelled by their fear and they create massive success so again these things are hard and I'm going to talk about like the nose for instance I'm going to teach you something real quick and by the way one company I I, I, I was blessed but let me back up and I, I tell you I was teaching Bible college. And uh, a, a guy said, you know, you're successful in what you do. You, you travel all over the world. And you, he said, but you're not duplicatable. I was like, what do you mean? He said, well, people, you can't teach people to do what you do. You're like a one-man show. And uh, so he's telling me about home-based business and network marketing, which, of course, automatically I started to be against it. But he was able to finally get through to me how network marketing would allow me to give me a system. And my acronym for system, many of you have heard it, save yourself time, energy, money. And I wonder how many of you out there would like to save yourself time, energy, money. Well, that's why you've got to get to this seminar down in Orlando, Florida, because I'm telling you, you're going to hear a conglomeration. Like Jeff said, not just your company's system that they use, you're going to hear systems, conglomeration of systems combined together, which I say we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. And so my acronym for systems with an S, save yourself time, energy, money, stress. And surely you would like to save yourself time, energy, money, stress. So you want to make sure you're there. But anyway, let me go back to that. So the guy said, and by the way, I, I'm all over the place. I got ADD, ADHD, TDD, and everything else. <laughs> and that's why I, my lovely wife, Nadia, my ABCD, that stands for Adorable Brown Caramel Delight. But I tell people, I'm the kite and she the strings. Every once in a while, she just said, come on back down, baby. Just, just breathe for a minute. But I'm just so excited. I'm, a, I'm infection, in, infected with life. And enthusiasm, like one of my old mentors, Charlie Tremendous Jones, who wrote the book Life is Tremendous. So anyway, so so I'm, I'm teaching, 
and it dawns on me, yeah, you're, he's right. I, I need a track that I can help other people. And then somebody said, how'd you like to start making more money in the month? You make an entire year being a college professor. I'm thinking, no, I am not going back to college. They said, no, you don't have to go to college. We can just teach you. And they started teaching me, as you mentioned, this, this business is a personal development course disguised. Uh, it's a personal development course disguised as a business, has a compensation plan tied to it. And the more you grow, the more you're going to earn. And uh, I started making more money in the month than I was making an entire year. So I jokingly tell people, I walked into my boss and I said, boss, I'm sorry, I can't work anymore. He said, why? I said, I got eye trouble. He said, doc, what's wrong with your eyes? I said, ah, I can't see myself working for you anymore. <laughs> that, was, that was in 1990 and I've been psychologically unemployable ever since. You know, I used to get to travel with Jim Rohn on occasion, bless his heart, he's now gone. And then my main mentor, Bill Bailey. But Jim was great at teaching uh, the power of, profits versus wages when i realized that i could produce profits oh my goodness that was so much better than wages and then i got mad at these 24 years that i spent in schooling right that just by being mentored by somebody they could give me some people don't like the term shortcut so i say fast cut okay and i got the fast cut or the fast track to success by having mentors which by the way mentors are the easiest fastest most reliable way to any success and that's another reason why you ought to be at the event. So um, give me just a few more moments um, because I, I want to I actually break this, okay? I, I'm going to break this physically. And when I break this physically, I want you, whoever's out there that has fear, and by the way, the more I study, the more I find I have irrational fears and hidden fears that I didn't even know. And that's another reason why you ought to go to a conference like this because it may be just one word from one person, maybe just one talk. You just never know. Uh, but somebody said it aptly. You got to hear something seven times. That is, you got to hear something seven times, seven different ways, or from seven different people for, before you get it. And some of you, you've heard it four times, five times. Coming to this event, you'll get that seventh time. That's why I love this industry. By the way, if you love network marketing, you're going to love the event we're going to be speaking at. If you don't like network marketing, you're really going to love the event we're speaking at because really, again, it's going to help you to be the best version of yourself. And I'm going to show you again, breaking through the fears and the nose and all that. So real quick, I'm going to break this. And when I break this physically, I want you, my friend, to make a commitment to break through psychologically. So uh, Dawn, can you unmute your line and give me, give me, let me hear you say breakthrough time. Breakthrough. Come on, no, say breakthrough time. Breakthrough time. Yeah! <laughs> so we're going to break here, and sometimes you got to hit it twice. <laughs> oh, that was so great, Dr. Breakthrough. Breakthrough time. Hey. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, and it's true. We just have to break through whatever that is that's holding us back. Thank you, thank right. you. And uh, just real quickly, link to the, um, the event will be posted at the end of this call. So we're going to bring up... Chris now to share a little bit about himself and what he's going to be bringing to the event and why you should attend. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, prior to 2002, I had really not done anything in the network marketing space. Um, I had written a number of books at the time, about two. Uh, I just started my 18th book uh, last week uh, writing that, but I was really primarily a speaker in the corporate, sort of traditional corporate world. Uh, General Electric, Microsoft, um, Harvard Business School, Cisco Systems, those kinds of companies. Um, and I was doing some ghostwriting for a guy named John Maxwell uh, back in 2000, 2001, 2002. I was ghostwriting for John, uh, his nationally syndicated column through the business journals. And I got a call from Jim Rohn and they asked me if I'd willing, be willing to do some writing with Jim and I said, yeah, sure. So we ended up writing the Jim Rohn One Year Success Plan, uh, which still is available today, actually. Uh, we started writing that in September of 2002, writing and selling that. It's a one year personal development program, uh, which then we ended up, I wrote a book with Jim called 12 Pillars, which is based on the 12 pillars you learn in the, the Jim Rohn One Year Plan. So I ended up spending the last seven years of Jim's life as sort of his last protege, speaking with him, hosting his events, um, writing a book with him and the, the one year success plan and those kinds of things. And what it did was it opened up a whole new world of network marketing to me because of course Jim was a legend in that industry and I'd really done nothing in it. So what was happening was Jim had a, 
he had a deal with Herbalife, a, a million dollar a year deal with Herbalife, where he was sort of their brand ambassador, uh, ambassador of capitalism. He, the last year he was alive, he spoke in 28 countries. Um, and uh, that, that's pretty amazing when you're 77 and, you know, not feeling very good. Um, and so uh, what was happening was he couldn't speak for any other network marketing company. So people would call Jim Rohn International and they'd say, hey, uh, can Jim come and speak at our event? And they'd say, well, he can't. He's got an exclusive deal with Herbalife. But his protege was writing with him and doing a lot of events with him. Chris was available. So I started being booked into network marketing events. I'd never been booked into them before. And I was talking about influence and leadership and those kinds of things. And what it ended up having me do was researching the industry from sort of the outside looking in. And of course, over the years, I was hired by so many of the top income earners to come and speak at their events. And I got to know them and did some research projects with some of the top leaders in the industry. Uh, I ended up writing two books on the industry. One is called The Case for Network Marketing, uh, which looks at network marketing versus a traditional business and how they both sell products and where the money goes and where the profits go and, and those kinds of things. And the second one uh, is called The Seven Laws of Network Marketing and uh, ended up writing that one just last year. So, um, I've spoken at about 500 different network marketing events, uh, over the years I was invited to speak at this one and then bonus, uh, Thomas I've been seen before and I, I actually did, I, I did get in leadership event with Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Dennis Waitley, Charlie Tremendous Jones and the like. And I've done that a number of times. So I'm not only going to be speaking at the event, but uh, I'm also going to have the great privilege of emceeing it and names over the years, but haven't had a chance to, to meet you. Uh, and, you know, I'll leave you with this thought. Jim always used to say, don't miss the events. That was one of his big things. Don't miss the events. Go to the events. Well, why should you go to an event? You should go to an event because it was under 2000 or sometimes. And to see that there's people that are like you, that have the same interests as you, that have the same passion as you, that share the same struggles and victories and successes as you, um, it really provides that camaraderie. And in an, in an, uh, an event like we're doing, which is a, a generic event, people from a lot of different uh, companies being there, you're going to be able to have a deeper appreciation of the industry and, and really see and respect people that are utilizing these principles across various industries. I know sometimes people get really scared of going to a generic event because they're afraid there's going to be cross promoting and those recruiting and that is not going to happen in our event. It's, it's strictly forbidden. Um, but I think we need to get over that fear um, and say, instead of being afraid of going to something like this, I'm actually going to be excited to go to something like this because I'm going to be able to see people not just selling my product, but seeing how these principles are, are succeeding in other industries across the board, a wide variety of different products. And so being able to be there and be encouraged and be challenged and, and learn, I'm, I'm excited to see the, the uh, uh, principles taught by so many of the folks that have built huge organizations. Um, that's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm going to spend my time talking about what I speak on all over the world, uh, my book called The Art of Influence, and so how to, uh, how to cultivate trust, respect, admiration, and loyalty from people who follow you through integrity, attitude, service, and excellence. So I'm super excited to be there, super excited to uh, get to know all of you, and um, any way that I can serve you, would love to do that and uh, and help you guys do the best that you can so we can all provide the best value for the people who are going to be in Orlando with us. So uh, I hope that all the people watching this will show up, buy their tickets, bring a friend, uh, and let them know about joining us. It's going to be a spectacular time and uh, really looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing. And um, just to piggyback a little bit about what you said about um, seeing other successes. And I think that that's why the generic events are so important as well, because you could think, and we all do, you know, think that we're in like the best company, right? And, and you see all the successes of your team or of other leaders within your company, but then what happens if you don't get to see the bigger picture? 
So it's really important that you get to see that this is a profession. This is global. This is international. This is billions of dollars a year as a profession. It's not even an industry. I think Eric Worre it is that says it's not an industry, it's a profession. Um, so I love that. And one thing I just want to piggyback with you, Dr. Stan, that you talked about is that when you had the stigma that you were making money off your friends or family or whatever the exact wording was that you used, we do it every day if you think about it. I mean, we refer things every single day to people, every day. I referred a restaurant last week. I referred, I have a very dear friend and she's actually a business partner of mine now, but I have a very dear friend who's a psychic medium. I gave her four referrals last week. So we're always doing that. And we say for parents, our kids are doing it to us when they are like five years old, right? They come home from school and they come home from show and tell and they're like, Johnny had the dinosaur and I want the dinosaur. So we're doing it every single day, every single day. It's just that stigma in our head that we're making money off of our friends and family. And it's so much more than that because like Shelly like Shel said, we're, we're changing lives. We literally are changing lives. And and I am way over that part now where maybe at the beginning it did feel a little awkward, but I know I have a gift for people in this profession. And I really firmly believe that people go to bed at night and they pray for people just like us to come into their lives. So with that being said, I really just want to thank you guys for joining. Click on the link. It'll be posted. Please click on the link. Join us in Orlando. This is just a, a little touch of when I get, what you're going to get out there. There's 20 speakers out there that are going to be sharing their wisdom and their expertise with you guys. And we look really, really forward to seeing you out in Orlando September 29th. So for all of you, thank you so much for sharing today. And for all of you out there, we will see you in Orlando.